Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Cancer. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of July 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out right now. And for you, it really is a high point moment as part of this larger year. We are going to have an eclipse in your sign, a solar eclipse in your sign at that. And this is a big and bold new beginning for you. This eclipse is going to happen in the first days of the month, really. So this is energy you're feeling as you enter this month. It will be standing across the sky from Saturn and speaking in supreme harmony with Neptune. Now that Neptunian energy tells me that there is a lot of faith with you at this time. There's a sense of connection with yourself, a sense of belief that miracles are possible and they certainly are. And there's a lot of hope hope for the future and hope for the direction in which you are moving. But that Saturn opposition says that there may also be some factors there that feel like they're putting some pressure on you. So whether that pressure is practical, sense of your own responsibilities, the duties that you have, or more of a sense of someone else pressuring you, which is possible with this energy, I'm sorry to say, it can sometimes indicate um, being in a power struggle of sorts. But regardless, you're making changes. And sometimes, you know, people, they're gonna do what they're gonna do as part of the greater wisdom. They don't even realize it, but they're helping us to align with a higher, more loving vision for our lives. And that is the case for you now. Even if a situation is uncomfortable, even if an interaction is uncomfortable, it can serve as a springboard towards your deeper, and more meaningful change, your sense of excitement about your future and your sense of genuine inspiration now that can have you touching on miracles. And I don't say that lightly. With that beautiful energy from Neptune, it tells me that you are filled with faith and that faith is going to pay off. This is about what might have always been there you just hadn't appreciated it, you just hadn't seen it for what it was or looked at it clearly. But now here it is, evident, as clear as day, and you can't help but embrace this moment. You can't help but take the inspiration, the idea, the impetus that is there now and run with it. And so yes, bright, bold beginnings are on the horizon as you start this month, but we are also in a Mercury retrograde season all month. Even though Mercury officially goes retrograde right around a week into the month, it is gonna be as we get three weeks into the month that that retrograde Mercury will go back into your sign and be standing still in the sky as we get to the very end of the month. And what that tells me is that energy of the eclipse, in some way, it is helping you to understand who you really are differently. But there's a deeper contemplation, a deeper understanding, a deeper consideration as to what matters to you most and what matters to you first that is wanting to come to the surface as well. And that will be there. And the great thing is, is that with the journey you go on this month, you will be sure by the time we start August and Mercury goes direct, you will know that your choices are truly your own. Now, as we navigate to the middle of the month, it is right around the 16th that we are going to have our second eclipse. And this is a lunar eclipse that is taking place in your opposite sign. Big month for you where it comes to relationships. Partnerships of all kinds are covered here, but romantic relationships are the way in which most cancers are going to realize this energy. It is going to be this eclipse that is happening close in the sky to Saturn. Pluto and the South Node aren't far away as well. And yes, this larger configuration is speaking in harmony with Neptune, but it's not as a strong, a harmonious energy as we saw at the beginning of the month, which means that it's there, the blessings are there, but you have to tap into them a little bit more consciously. Whenever there is a lunar eclipse, it represents karmic closures. It represents a time when the universe makes it abundantly clear that a certain chapter is over for us. And that doesn't necessarily mean that someone is gonna exit your life unless that is truly the best for you. 
as part of a higher, more loving vision for your life, which is always how eclipses operate. However, some change, some transformation in the way that you relate to others, and in particular, a particular person, well, that is going to take center stage at this eclipse. With the energy of Saturn and Pluto, chances are the, uh, the feelings are going to be very strong. The energy is going to be very high, but also there's a certain finality to this time as well. Yes, Mercury is retrograde. Sometimes what you think is done might not be done, but given where it is that this eclipse is taking place, for some out there, it may feel like a closure has finally happened. For those of you who are open to meeting someone new in the context of love, when we have such important energy like this in your opposite sign, someone is there to help you to understand the learning that only attraction and partnership can provide. As I like to say, to see yourself differently as reflected in the eyes of another. And that doesn't mean to take someone else's opinion as your own, far from it. It means that as you engage with someone new, you get to see a different part of yourself and you get to realize who you are with a greater depth, a greater understanding. And so yes, somebody may very well be there to help you to understand your own feelings, but a lot of this energy may very well be a sense of closure on the past, like an energetic release, a letting go of a past situation. And that can position you most powerfully to experience and to move towards greater love than you've known before. For those of you who are just getting to know someone, if you've just started dating someone, look, this is very make or break. This is all or nothing energy without a doubt. And so either you're going to see some truth about this person that's going to make you go, oh, okay, I'm not into this. Thank you. Or you're going to see some truth about this person that's going to make you feel like you are all in. For those of you who are in an established bond, it is a defining time for you. Again, it's very all or nothing. A small percentage out there might find themselves ready to go in a different direction. But what I have found overwhelmingly is what happens when there is an eclipse in your opposite sign and a lunar eclipse at that more like what happens is that you realize some truth about the dynamic. Um, perhaps an ongoing uh, issue between the two of you. Uh, you may realize your own part. It is an eclipse. Eclipses like to do things by surprise and the realization may actually surprise you where you realize your part in uh, an ongoing matter. And it could also be some truth about where it is that you may have been um, creating walls, if you will, protecting yourself instead of truly allowing yourself to bond with your partner that much more. Now, these are some possible scenarios, but regardless of how this works out, it is defining, as I said, powerfully defining at that. It is a moment of truth. Now, sometimes that truth hurts, right? But the thing is to stay open because it is ultimately the truth that is part of moving you towards a more meaningful love. And that connection with Neptune tells me that whatever is transpiring now, whatever truth it is that is revealed to you, you can recognize the blessings in it very quickly. What I love about this month for you, it is so big, it is so consequential. And you know, I didn't even mention Venus. A day after that first eclipse, Venus is gonna enter your sign and be there right to the last days of the month. That is incredible. This is an energy that will have you feeling like you are connected to your own heart. You are connected to a sense of what it is that makes your heart sing, the people, places, things, situation, and you'll be able to attract experiences and blessings that much easier. It is a brand new start in love in every area of life, and it is these eclipses that are helping you to truly launch in new directions. And these directions are empowered they are honest, they are right, and their time has come. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.